I'm ready. <laughs> what up? Let's get to it. First off, man, hope all is well, man. Shout out to all my big dogs, huh? <laughs> Heavy, man, the draft is right around the corner, huh? The draft is right around the corner, baby. With that being said, hey, the Vikings need cornerbacks, dog. <laughs> Heavy, yeah. The Vikings need cornerbacks, baby. Now, we know it's no guarantee that uh, a Caleb Evans will get any better or improve his cover skills. It's no guarantee Andrew Booth will turn out to be the cornerback the Vikings expected him to become. Because right now, you can't live in a world of ifs, correct? <laughs> now, we know a Caleb Evans, uh, he's a, you know, physical, you know, elite specimen, right? He has the size, has the physical attributes, you know, has the stature. So most people thought he would come in and perform well. Even me, I thought he had the potential to be an elite cornerback. But at the end of the day, he hasn't done enough. Now, no question, you love his physicality. You love his tackling ability. But his coverage skills, oh, man. His inability to make the make an interception, make a damn catch, you dig me? When the ball hits him in his hands, come on now, baby. His technique is questionable at times. Even, you know, the miscommunication, him understanding his assignments, knowing what to do, dog. So it's no guarantee a, a Caleb Evans will be that guy. Now, he could get better. He could put to work and he could, you know, have come in next season and ball out, right? We've seen crazier things happen, but is it realistic? The Vikings must be realistic as well, right? You know, I wish uh, uh, Caleb Evans the best. Like I say, I'm shocked that he hasn't produced at a higher level since he's been in the league, dog. You know, I thought last year he would have a great season, but it is what it is. Now you got Andrew Booth. He's done nothing for real. Byron Murphy, you know, he's solid, but is, it, is he a lead at this point in his career? Huh? Has he reached his ceiling as far as what he can do, huh? I mean, we shall see, but the Vikings definitely need more depth in that cornerback room. Now, they got Shaq Griffin. He could be a starter or definitely a solid backup, compete for that starting spot. But at the end of the day, I would love to see the Vikings draft some cornerbacks in the draft, you know, third round, fourth round, etc. Do they have a third rounder, though? <laughs> but yeah, Terry and Arnold. Kool-Aid McKinstry, Bama Boys, Link, Roll Tide, Full of Pride. Vikings need to look at one of them, man, heavy, or even both. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at both, huh? Yeah. Now, Terry and Arnold, you know, solid coverage skills. To me, you talk about his strengths, man. He can, I think he can do good, be uh, perform very well in one-on-one -on -one situations. I think zone coverage, he can be a ball hawk. You know, he can fly around. He's not scared to tackle. He's not scared to hit you in the mouth. And he can play. And he's a playmaker, dog. Heavy, you know. Has nice feet, nice footwork. He has solid hips, good fluid hip movement, huh? Now, I think he needs to work on his defense when the ball is in the air, getting his head around. But a lot of cornerbacks need to work on that, correct? Yeah, you know. But you talk about, you know, solid tackler. Um, sometimes he has his eyes in the backfield too much, but overall, I think it, it will be a good pickup for the Minnesota Vikings. Now, you can maybe worry about him going up against taller, bigger receivers, but man, that's part of the game. That's part of the territory, baby. But Terry Arnold, I think he could definitely be an asset to the Vikings one day. Now, will he be elite? Will he be a superstar? Uh, potential to be a day one starter? I don't know. You know, it's it's a draw to straw. Now, you can't forget about Makai Blackman, right? I'm sure he's coming in fighting for a starting spot, looking to improve himself this season, right? Build upon last season. So it's going to be a battle, dog. 
heavy. Definitely going to be a battle, but Terry and Arnold, man, a cornerback that the Vikings could definitely draft, definitely has the chance to contribute at a high level. Now, are we going to say right away or are we going to take a year or two? You know, we shall see. It depends on how he progresses, dog, how he develops, et cetera, et cetera. What work does he put in? Will it translate to the NFL? That's the bottom line, dog. Now, you look at Kool-Aid McKinstry, huh? Kool-Aid McKinstry, another cornerback who I think could be an even better man-to-man -man cornerback than Terry and Arnold, dog. Yeah, just watching both of them play throughout the season, last season, right? Yeah, Kool-Aid McKinstry, man, he could definitely be a potential shutdown man-to-man -man corner, in my opinion, dog. Yeah, in my opinion, like he need to me, he needs to work, get better in zone coverage. You know, sometimes he need he loses his technique. Uh, also, he can work on his defense when the ball is in the air, getting his head head around, etc. Also, he could also work on his feet, his footwork, but that can all be improved. But you talking about raw talent, man to man, getting your face, you know? And I think he's gonna get better, dog, as time goes on, as he progresses. You dig me? As he grows into his body, as the NFL slows down for him, right? When he progresses, progresses year in, year out, huh? You dig me? So, yeah, man, the Vikings have options at the cornerback position for the draft. But definitely those Bama boys roll tired. You know, we talk about playing at the highest level, playing at the elite level, dog. Seeing it all, going against speed receivers, big receivers, et cetera, et cetera. And now I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Sometimes the secondary had some bad games, right? But you can you point out one guy? A lot of times it was because of miscommunication, uh, bad scheme, play calling from the defensive coordinator, right? You know, so you can't just put it on one corner back here, one corner back there. They both of them make mistakes. Uh, mistakes? Hell yeah, that's part of the game, part of the territory, homie. <laughs> Even the best corner in the in the NFL gets beat sometimes. Correct. So, yeah, man, but I think Terry and Arnold, uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry definitely have the potential to be solid players in the NFL and who, you know, whoever drafts them, whatever team they go to, dog. Yeah, they could they could do some damage, dog. They could do some real damage. And we know we know how Bama produces cornerbacks, man. How how their talent, you dig me, their speed, their agility, their work, you know, the just their football ability, IQ translates very well, very well to the NFL, dog. Check the check the track record. Check check the stats, et cetera, et cetera, homie. <laughs> One thousand, man. But yeah, you know, Terry and Arnold Kool-Aid McKinstry, don't be shocked. If the Vikings potentially draft them, dog, day two, even day three, huh? You know, uh, a lot of talent in the, in, the, in the secondary room, baby. You know, a lot of picks, a lot of guys there who could potentially ball out. And like you said, we all know this draft is very important for the Vikings, man. It's a make or break draft, dog. Quasi must perform well. Quasi must cook. Quasi must cook, homie. <laughs> that's my take my opinion on it man you already know what it is dog feedback is much appreciated let me know how you feel about the video do you agree or disagree what cornerbacks would you like to see the vikings draft dog oh yeah got a live coming up coming up uh saturday make sure you tune in heavy man <laughs> big school here man heavy big school here yeah, man. Feedback is much appreciated. You know what it is, dog. <laughs> Score Vikes forever. Win, lose, or draw, man. 1,000, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling, baby. Let's get it, baby. Score Vikes forever heavy. <laughs>